Welcome back to my channel, Living Up Macoon Leg. If you're new, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and turn on your post notification so you get to know when I post a new video. If you're returning back, thanks for your loyalty and make sure you're subscribed as well because y'all know it's free, okay? I'm going to be showing you guys how I prepare baby Fisaya's food. Yes, she is asleep. This is the only way I'm going to be able to make this video today because I don't know what's wrong with my daughter. So, got to put her to sleep in this style, which is common for Africans. Okay? So, I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I prepare her food. So, the cooking process, then blending process, or chopping process, and then the storing process. So stored, ready to use when she's hungry. Well, as you guys might know, I, I am still breastfeeding Fisayo, so I exclusively only breast milk for her first six months of life. Now she's going to be turning eight months, June 15. Woohoo! Baby girl is walking with her walker. She has two bottom teeth, tooth, whatever you all call it. She is growing fast, fast, okay? Let's give a clap for her. As you can see in the video, she's growing. Okay, guys, so of course I'm going to say mommy's milk is great, but also feeding her um, actual food is even better. So I... I personally feel like, you know, going to the store, like I don't know what is in those Gerber prepackaged food that they sell in the counter in the grocery store. So I've always made her food that she eats in my kitchen. So since she turned six months, I've been feeding, she's been having, you know, solids. So I make sure I go to the grocery store, pick the best products, uh, produce or frozen um, fruits or vegetables. And then I come in my kitchen and I prepare it for her. So you're going to see how I prepare our food. And uh, please don't forget to thumbs up this video if you're liking it or at any point. Don't forget to comment down below what you think about this process. And if you have any question about her nutrition in general. And don't forget to share this video with friends and family who might be in need of this content. Okay? And thank you and keep watching. Alright guys, so, so this is the food items that I'm gonna be preparing for Fisayo. I've got some diced avocado, sliced peaches, green beans, sweet peas, yellow squash, zucchini, carrots, blueberry, and sweet potatoes. So some of this requires me to cook it up to get it softer, which would be the carrot and uh, the carrot and the sweet potato and maybe i'll steam this up a little bit but everything else should easily be able to blend so i've just have this sitting here a little bit just so it can thaw out and ready so um i've got this is my storage ice cube tray cube tray that i use for to store them in the freezer for her for easy access when um when needed for the day and um this is the what I use the baby food processor that I use to blend her food. So it comes with all with all of this as well. So if I was to steam them all here, which the first time I did it when she turned six months, her first food tray, um, I used this um, steamer to steam and get it warm um, to get it to get the food soft before blending it. But it took forever to steam so today i'm going to be using the um method of using my stove and cooking it on the stove and then just using this blending part to blend it okay so i am going to go ahead and um just peel off the skin of this um carrots and the potatoes dies it up so it's easy for me to cook it up and then yeah you guys are gonna see okay so keep watching
so as you can see the vegetables are all diced up now i am just going to it seems like it's a lot so i am just going to take some of them and just put them in a ziploc bag and label the ziploc bag so that i can be able to use it another time instead of instead of going through this process again so so i have separated some so i am as you can see this is labeled i am going to freeze this bag up and now this is just going to steam just a little water sweet potato and carrot it's gonna steam a little bit and this i'm gonna steam it also slightly doesn't need much steaming but we'll see so i have steamed most of the food so like i said i'm gonna have my blueberries this is just squash and zucchini banana i decided to add some chicken since that fall and i had some chicken salad for lunch so i had to also puree some chicken for her got her sweet peas and green beans peaches um carrots and sweet potato got um av avocado and I have some apples. Apples just try to steam up a little bit. So it'll be easy for me to blend. I'm gonna start with my, you know, my clear kind of food. So I also brought this because I think there's some food items that doesn't necessarily need to be blended in here. So like the banana, I can just smash it. Since, you know, she's already, she's already, um, Eight, almost eight months where everything doesn't have to be pureed you know, we can start eating the smashed food so I'm just gonna use this just to smash some of this items that are smashable okay so this is how I prepare your food baby preparing your food all smashed up I try not to have too many chunks in it but I also want it to be a different um, consistency, you know, different texture. I'm going to go ahead and just start blending the food together. As you can see, I've got my banana, it's already smashed. So I don't think I want the banana anymore, period, than this. Um, I am going to go ahead and blend her apples, which I already steamed up a little bit on the stove. So it's easier and softer. Put it on. So we are just going to chop this. I want to chop it. So I'm just gonna spoon it up and go for another round of it. In all this, most of this food, she actually also eats them as finger foods. Like sometimes when when we're eating apple, we give her some some. You know we slice it up a little bit and she will grab it up from her from she will grab it up from her um high chair and from the table and pick it up and start eating but this is just easier for me to do when i'm not there when she's with a babysitter it's easier for her to be fed this way and i'm for sure knowing that you know she's they're not having difficulties with her food or scared that oh my gosh she might you know eat a big bite and choke like this is easier safer and more peace of mind for me for the babysitter to feed her with i'm just gonna just give it another another <coughs> so i've got the peaches in here i didn't rinse out the apple because peaches and apple go together so just gonna put the peaches and I'm gonna do the same thing and just chop it. I am done with her fruit. So we've got the avocado, peaches, banana, apple, and blueberry. So these are all in a chopped form, or it looks pureed to me, but it's cool. So with this, I think what's gonna happen is that, you know, I usually bring out one cube whenever I'm going to work. I usually bring out one cube of fruits and one cube of vegetable and the babysitter usually feeds her with that for the day as well as with oatmeal but i think um we are at the stage where she can now take eat two cubes of fruit two cubes of um um a vegetable as well or you know the 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 peaches or the apple can be mixed along with her oatmeal to give it more flavor so that's gonna be my new 
um, direction for my babysitter. But now I am going to go ahead and blend my vegetables and the chicken. Yeah, yum, yum, yum. So I'm excited about her food. So here is the chicken, it's already pureed. Got my vegetables as well. So this is all her food items that I'm gonna start storing. I've got the chicken, got zucchini squash, avocado, sweet potato and carrots, peaches, blueberry, green beans and sweet peas. We've got banana and apple and I'm gonna be storing them in here, trying to measure them using this. So one tablespoon. So like Saya loves her sweet potato and carrot. Ah, 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 mmm, yum, yum, yum. Mmm, yeah, you like it? You like sweet potato and carrot mixed together? Yum. You want more? Yeah. food yeah yum 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 you got a face can you see your face beside yeah oh you want more yum 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 yeah Ooh. all right i am done stuffing the trays We've got a zucchini, squash, chicken, sweet peas, and green pea, green beans, sweet potato, and carrots. Some more sweet potato and carrots, um, apple, blueberries, avocado, avocado, banana, peaches. I think this little baby girl, baby. she's gonna be good think she's ready for another month of healthy eating my daughter eats healthier than I do that's sad <laughs> but I'm thankful does all this process take a long time personally yes it does because between trying to steam your food steam the fruits and or vegetables to either deciding whether you want to puree it or crush it or chop it and then you know trying to pop, trying to you know perfectly store it in the little cubes can definitely take a long time especially with this one crying and trying to do our own thing and want your attention but honestly i do enjoy doing it because it's usually like those four the four trays usually last me roughly about a month so with
but I think it definitely is beneficial for her. At least I know what is put down in her system are all homemade and not processed, if that makes sense. Okay? So if you saw it when you're seeing this in 10 years, make sure you just come and randomly kiss me. Thank you, mommy. Thank you, mommy, for all that work. All that work. And honestly, guys, I also think it is also cost effective. It is cheaper, like I'll spend like $10 to buy all those, you know, all the fruits and vegetables versus spending $100 on processed food from the counter. So yeah, that's my took take. And so this is what Isaiah eats as an almost eight months baby. Say hi, say hi, say hi. Say hi. So this concludes the video. Yeah. <laughs> if you like it, don't forget to thumb, give the video a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button down below. Guys, it's free. Come on. And um, comment down below as well. Don't forget to also share this video. See how Fisaya gets her healthy body. Look at my baby skin. I might give you all some. I think I might go ahead and also share some skincare routine that I do for Fisayo. <laughs> yes. But thanks for watching this video. And I will see you in my next video. Okay? I love it, girl. So, she loves looking at herself in the mirror or in a camera. <laughs>